I am Anusha and welcome to Storytime. Today you're tuned in, you're tuned in just in time and you're in for a treat because we're going to read Saving Seal by Diane Jackson Hill, The Plastic Predicament. Let's do this. Let's do this. Ready? Okay. <coughs> okay, let's do this. Lizzie lived in the city but spent most summer holidays with her grandpa on the eagle now guys that's the eagle that's the boat of lizzie's grandpa and well she spent most of her summer holidays on the eagle grandpa dave was a marine biologist and had sailed his boat around the world exploring ocean currents and marine life now he helped care for the bay now, Grandpa Tape's been a marine biologist, everybody, and he has the eagle, and how well he takes care of the bay. The eagle had everything Lizzie needed, a bed, bunk bed with a porthole, a dishwasher, a milkshake maker, and even an occasional visitor. Now, guys, that's Lizzie, and Lizzie, the eagle, is everything she can ever dream of. Bunk bed, dishwasher, a milkshake maker, and an occasional visitor. Seal was an old friend of Lizzie's. Every year he'd be there in the bay, resting on the clock, ridges or wharf, skylarking when the waters were still, or teasing fishermen. Now, guys, that's Mr. Seal, and he is quite a frequent visitor of Lizzie's, and he loved Lizzie. Well, he'd watch the fishermen reel in their lines and chomp off the tails of the fish. He'd throw his catch into the air and devour it in one gulp. Now, Mr. Seal is very, 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 very funny. Guys, look at that. Look the way he ate his lunch. <laughs> and this Mr. Fisherman, poor fisherman, is just so shocked. <laughs> well, that's friends of Lizzie. Seal was a show off. But sometimes he caught more than fish. One day, Lizzie spotted Seal close by. He was thrashing against the rocks and twisting his tail flippers. Grandpa! Seal is all knotted up! Now Grandpa Dave scrambled for his net and threw it over Seal to keep him still. Seal has been playing with an old plastic bag, he said, while cutting his flippers free. There's so much rubbish around the bay and one wave washes out to sea and next wave dumps it all back. Now poor Mr. Seal was hurt today because of a simple plastic bag. Simple plastic bag that we use, guys. And look at that, he is, he is shouting and he is screaming in agony but Grandpa Dave is helping him. Grandpa Dave is helping him. That night, Lizzie dreamed she was seal, swimming in the ocean, but something wasn't right. She couldn't kick her legs and it was getting harder to swim. Lizzie woke in a sweat. She was tangled in her sheet, the way seal had been tangled in the plastic bag. We have to do something, Grandpa. She loves to be around her, but it's not safe for him now. If we could work out where all the rubbish comes from, Grandpa Dave said, we may be able to stop it clogging up the bay. To Lizzie, that sounded like a plan. Now Lizzie and Grandpa Dave began collecting rubbish from the water and shores of the bay. Lizzie loved being organized, so Grandpa Dave gave her the ta task of sorting, counting, and recording the rubbish they found. Grandpa Dave and Lizzie combed the beach and scoured the silos they collected. Now guys, look at all the, all the stuff they collected, guys. There's some bottles, plastics, ribbons, cups, hats, necklaces, and there's even a rubber duck. Then Legos, I think they're Legos, plastic, ropes. They're all kinds of things that they collected, guys, all in the bag. But when they come back to the boat, Grandpa, Seal has something caught in his nose. Now Grandpa Dave threw his net over Seal and eased out a plastic straw. 
that night, when Lizzie drank her strawberry milkshake, she was glad Grandpa had paper straws. Now, quite as you can see, Mr. Seal couldn't breathe. He couldn't breathe because of the plastic straw. And now Lizzie is so careful while she drinks her milkshake, while she drinks her milk, to never use plastic straw or or make sure she dispose of it very carefully because, well, Mr. Seal could be in trouble or some other skills could be in trouble and Mr. Well, Grandpa Dave might not be there to save him. Guys, it's a very big deal. Mr. Seal was yet out in agony today as well. He couldn't breathe because of the plastic straw. And now Lizzie is very, very careful that she is using paper straw that she can decompose it or, you know, decompose it after she uses it very carefully. Now she knows. Now she knows what happens when you use plastic stuff and when you don't throw it properly. Like Mr. Seal here, he almost, he almost couldn't breathe. When they searched under the wharf, they gathered up, but back on the boat, Grandpa, this time it's old balloons and ribbons. Now Grandpa Dave threw his net over sail and Lizzie carefully clipped the ties while Grandpa tugged at the tangles. Now guys, it looks like Mr. Seal had a bad week because every day there's something else. Now today it's all balloons and ribbons and he is choking. He cannot breathe or cannot play. And now we're glad that there's Grandpa Dave and Lizzie, but they might not be always. As you can see and it's uh, it's getting really dangerous for mr seal and his friends as you can see it's been a big problem big problem each day they left their batch clean but it didn't stay that way now every day grandpa dave and lizzie clean up the bay and next day it would be the same next day there are some plastic cups straws as you can see, and birds are also feasting in it. It's not safe for anybody. Anybody, no matter how hard they tried, it's the, still the same. Every day, every day, new things come up. New plastic things come up. Now, after Lizzie had finished her long list, both she and Grandpa needed a spearmint milkshake. Now, guys, Lizzie and Mr. Grandpa, well, they're at work. They are at work. As you can see, look at that. Look at that. Look at the list they created. Look at the list they found. They found 600 straws, 550 plastic bags, secret butts, too many to count, cutlery, 300, coffee cups, 90, bottles, 84, lollipop, 77, ribbons and balloons, 42, batteries, 30, broken toys, 6, noodles, 2, snorkeling gear, lots, hot water balloon, 1, frisbee and other dog stuff, heaps, Lego bricks, well, enough to build an ambulance station, toy dancer and baby snacky, yuck! Guys, look at that. Now, they have kept count of many, many things they found on the bay that they didn't worry about the straw. As you can see, we don't need a straw. Grandpa, don't worry about the straw, okay? Don't worry about the straw. Now, Lizzie and Grandpa Dave had a facts and figures now. Let's go tell everyone, said Lizzie. To Grandpa Dave, that sounded like a plan. Now, guys, they've been trying to do something for the bay because Mr. Seal has been in trouble every day. And, well, there might not be Grandpa Dave or Lizzie for, for to save him. So they have to do something and they have facts and figures there to show it to everybody. When Lizzie and Grandpa Dave took their facts and figures to the local council and shopkeepers, all sorts of things happened in the town. Single-use plastics, including plastic bags and straws, were banned. 
Volunteers made clothes bags for shoppers who forgot to bring their own. Everyone started using their own cup water bottles and coffee cups. More beans were placed along the beach and near the wharf. Beach cleanups were organized. Now guys, Lizzie and Grandpa Dave started a revolution. They started an awareness campaign, as you can see. Now every one of them is helping them. Every one of them are helping them. They are taking responsibility. Come on, we can do this together. They're in trouble. They're in trouble and we can do this together. And guess what? They are. Bye-bye plastic bag, handmade shopping bag. Well, they are not alone. They are not alone anymore. It took a few years, but with the help of newspaper and TV reports and social media, the cleanup messes about the plastic predicament spread from one bay to the next and the next. Now, guys, I was not wrong about the revolution. They did. <coughs> they did spread in revolution, as you can see. And that about the plastic predicament spread from one bay to the next. Now, everybody got aware how they are acting up how they are acting up to save the sea to save the sea and its habitat everybody is playing a biggest part here it had been many years since lizzie spent summer holidays on the eagle but she was visiting one day when grandpa what's up with the seal he has grandpa back as he scrambled for his net <laughs> See, it's okay, Grandpa. Look. Oh, Now, guys, every time Lizzie sounds, Grandpa! Now, Grandpa Dave is really, really scared and he's always ready with the net to help Mr. Seal. But then again, because of the revolution, because of the awareness campaign, because, because, because they did something about it, Mr. Seal can play with his friends and just enjoy not having to worry about plastic bags, not having to worry about... You know, balloons, not having to worry about straws. Well, he's just himself, just enjoying his surfing, just enjoying his swimming, as you can see. And look at that. He is very, very happy. The problem with plastic. Scientists believe that if we don't act now, in 30 years' time, there will be more plastic in the ocean than fish. Millions of tons of plastic ends up in our oceans every year and most of it comes from people throwing away used plastic on our streets, near our rivers and on our beaches. It then travels by rain or wind or current and ends up in our oceans. Plastic takes hundreds of years to decompose. Before it does, it may entangle marine life. As it does break down, it becomes a soup of tiny particles which smell and look like food. This is eaten by seabirds and marine life. Plastic and their toxins harm marine life and can be passed on to us in our food. Now guys, there's been it's a grave problem. The problem with plastic that still lurks for us. If we don't act now, if we don't act now, Mr. Seal and her friends, friends are in trouble, are in really, really big trouble. As you can see, we need to act. We need to act now. We need to act now. There is no planet B for them. There's only water, and water is filled with our plastics, and that's no good. That is no good. Like it said, scientists believe that if we don't act now, in 30 years' time, there will be more plastic in the ocean than seas, than fish. That is a problem, guys. That is a biggest problem we face right now. This is a story about people working together to make the right choices and about making them now. It is time, guys. It is time to make them now. Make them now. We have to be in groups, form a plan, aware, aware people, and use of plastics now. Use of plastic now. As you can see, Lizzie and Grandpa Dave, what the legends. They are legends. They brought people together and helped Mr. Seal and his friends. And we can be like them too. We can be like them too. Saving Seal, the plastic predicament. 